Hey everybody, uh, so I um, just upgraded my compressor. Um, this, is, this is the guy that I use most of the time. Uh, this is an Iwata Ninja Jet. And um, it's, uh, it's designed, you know, the, the Iwata Neo airbrushes, I have, I have a couple. Um, this is the one, this is the one that I use all the time for like all of my detail kind of work. Um, and uh, it's, you know, it's a, a gravity fed airbrush. The Iwata Neos are designed to run in a little bit lower air pressure. Um, so the Ninja Jet is a, it's a lower pressure, air pressure compressor, and it's supposed to be a little bit quieter. So uh, we'll get into that. But um, I, uh, for a long time, I've been wanting to get an upgrade to, uh, to my compressor. So um, this is a, like a no-name, um, I'm not sure, it's probably a clone, it's probably like a Chinese clone of some, you know, some brand compressor like an Iwata or whatever, it's just, it's called a, a model TC20T. Um, so uh, this is a, um, I think it's one, one fifth. Yeah, one fifth horsepower. Um, so this guy is quieter than this guy. Uh, and then I also have when I was uh, when I was like twelve, my uh, my mom got me a compressor because I was going through all of those cans of air doing airbrushing. Um, I was a weird kid. I was I was in airbrushing when I was twelve. Yeah, that was when I got my first airbrush. Uh, this guy, and uh, and uh, like I went to like a college level airbrushing class in the summer when I was in like freshman year of high school or something. I was a weird kid. Been into airbrushing for a long time. This is the first compressor that I got. This guy. This is a one tenth horsepower. Um, again, like no brand, no name compressor. Uh, the feet have long gone. It like sounds like a jet engine when it's on, and it like rumbles across across the floor. If you have it on top of your work surface, it's gonna, you know, like oh, we'll turn it on. I'll let you I'll let you hear what this guy sounds like. I don't even want to set him on top of my glass table because I'm afraid he'll break it. That's how it turns on plug it into the wall and that's how loud it is. And that's a one one ten. Yeah, uh pro tip kids, if you want your mom to get you a compressor when you're like twelve, tell her that you can um fill up her, you know, fill up tires with it and like inner tubes and all that stuff. Um, you probably can. I mean, there's probably some attachment that you'll get that you can get, but it'll probably live in your room. Um, so, anyways, that guy doesn't even have a switch on him. This guy, you know, does have a switch. Um, and then, you know, the the big difference though with this guy is that it has an air tank. So this just fills up with air, and you and you can empty it. There's a little release right here to, to quick empty it but um, you don't have to empty this tank you can just let it fill up with air and then it will um, you don't have to empty the tank this is a moisture trap so what um, what you do is you, you empty this every time you're done airbrushing and you leave this full of air so first off the the, the motor it's like a one, you know, one piston motor, but that's, that doesn't really make too much of a difference. Like you're gonna pay, that's what the bulk of what you're paying for is the motor. So if you get like a bigger motor, it's gonna cost more. It's gonna take less time for the tank to fill up. But as long as you're not airbrushing constantly, if you're not running this thing constantly for like, you know, 10, 10 half hour or whatever at a time, the tank is going to be full of air most of the time, so it's only going to kick on when it needs to fill up the tank, when it's starting to run low. And uh, it does take a little while to fill up the tank, but 
Let's turn it on. Oh, actually, let's turn this guy on first. Just so you can hear what this sounds like. why I've been wanting to upgrade for a while. This guy was $89 on Amazon. And, um, wait for it, yeah. Noise comparison. kicks on every once in a while when um, you know when when it's starting to run low so I uh, I actually deflated the tank so it needs to do its thing and it needs to like uh, put more air in the tank but this is the that's the quick release for the tank right there and then um, this is this is the moisture trap so when you're using it you know but it, needs to, it needs to fill up the tank first, but that's how quiet it is. And then um, after, and then you have a, you have a pressure adjust right here. So the Ninja Jet has the same thing. The Ninja Jet has a pressure adjust, but I pretty much leave it on full blast all the time because if you turn it down low, you get you can get like the splattering kind of effect. Like if you want to do that with your models. Try doing this. Put a kink in the airline and then just let it out a little bit and you'll, the, the paint won't fully atomize and it'll kind of like splatter as it comes out of the tip. It won't turn into a mist like, like the airbrush wants to, you know, atomize it. But uh, yeah, so this guy pretty much, he just stays on it full blast all the time when I'm airbrushing. But this does have a, um, uh, an, an adjustment valve. Not yet. But when you're when you're done airbrushing, you don't empty out the tank. See, it just kicked off. Oop! Something's leaking. There we go. It's nice and quiet. And I can just keep keep going. See how long I can keep airbrushing. I'm gonna put it on full blast. Okay, I'm gonna put a jump cut here, or I'm gonna fast forward here, and then we'll see how long I can keep airbrushing before it has to refill the tank. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, anyways, I got this guy on Amazon, 
And um, I got a I got a, a new airbrush too. I got a Harvard student pack. But um, the um, yeah, I mean, I've been a, an Iwata fanboy for a long time. But I, I uh, yeah, I just got an Iwata. I mean, a uh, uh, Harvard student pack. So yeah, I might do a video about that too. That's how long it takes to you know. I was airbrushing for a while there. I had the pressure on for a while there, and it didn't need to kick on, and it only kicked on for a few seconds, and then this tank is full again, and I can leave the tank full again, and then when I'm done, the this all I have to do is let the pressure out of this moisture trap, and uh, on some on some models, like on the branded ones, I've seen where they have a glass moisture trap right here, so it needs some protection. This is plastic, uh, but you just let. The, basically, you don't want moisture to get into the tank in here. You want you, when you're done, every time you're done airbrushing, you want to let the, let the pressure out of here. Just out of here. And then that's, that's all you really need to do when you're airbrushing. Um, so, yeah. You know, safety and everything, don't airbrush or don't fill up your compressor with anything other than air. You know, anything flammable, any kind of fumes or anything like that. But, um, but yeah, um, huge, huge upgrade for $89. So, yeah, I'm in love. I, I totally love this thing. Um, I would definitely recommend getting one if you're, if you, if you're an airbrush person. You know, whether you're just using it to prime or if you're using it to do your minis, you know, like, I, I feel like the airbrush for minis, it's like, it's such an underrated tool. Like, people talk about the wet palette or, you know, whatever, like, airbrush is such a, such a cool tool. But anyways, yeah, this is the TC20T, model TC20T, no name, from Amazon. Um, get one.